2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic First Test, Toughness and Comfort in Driving. Porsche enthusiasts exploring the North American Porsche website are presented with a staggering choice of 21 different 911 models and now. A new addition graces this impressive lineup with the much anticipated return of the Sport Classic. The 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic boasts a distinctive powertrain setup and a meticulously crafted body design that sets it apart from its 911 siblings. As part of Porsche's heritage design strategy, it marks the second release out of 04 following the 911 Targa for S Heritage Design Edition. And with a limited production run of just 1,000 to 150 units, securing one might be a challenging endeavor. Nevertheless, it's a model that deserves attention when spotted in the wild. The essence of the Sport Classic. The 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic draws its inspiration from the well-established 911 Turbo, but reinvents its design cues. Drawing from the iconic Porsche models of the 1960s and 1970s, Porsche has gone to great lengths to create new tooling for the production of rear fenders with closed-off intake ducts. These ducts have been cleverly rerouted beneath a carbon fiber reinforced plastic CFRP ducktail. Spoiler! Paying homage to the revered 1972 and 1973-911 Carrera RS 2.7 models at the front end. A fixed lip spoiler and lead matrix headlights contribute to the distinctive appearance of the sport. Classic! The CFRP hood features a central dip, harmonizing with the double bubble roof. Reminiscent of the Type 9, 197 generations first 911 Sport Classic. These design elements not only set it apart from the turbo, but also address North American regulations, which prevented the introduction of the initial Sport Classic. The Sport Grey metallic paint, exclusive to this model, is inspired by the fashion grey color found on the classic Porsche 356. Additional subtle exterior touches, such as the Porsche crest modeled after the 1963 emblem, badges and lettering finished in real gold, and manufacturer badges on the front quarter panels. Carry over from the Targa for S Heritage Design Edition. At the rear, the Porsche Heritage badge pays homage to the iconic Porsche 356 badge awarded to vehicles that achieved 100,000 kilometers during the 1950s. Distinctive features. What makes the Porsche 911 Sport Classic instantly recognizable are the Porsche lettering, adorning the bottom of the doors, and the customizable white lollipop number plate. Ranging from 1 to 99, these elements have been intentionally designed as graphics, offering buyers the option to remove them according to their preferences, a manual powerhouse. The most distinguishing feature of the 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic, setting it apart from the Turbo S, is its powertrain configuration. While modern turbo models employ a 3.7-liter twin-turbo flat six boxer engine mated to an 8-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission to power all four wheels, the 911 Sport Classic retains the 3.7-liter six-cylinder power plant. However, it swaps the PDK for an MT11 seven-speed manual transmission. Channeling 543 horsepower and 440 to pounds FT of torque exclusively to the rear wheels. This unique combination makes the Sport Classic the most potent 911 model available with a manual transmission with a well executed 1 to 2 shift and a clean launch. This model can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 3.4 seconds and complete a quarter mile run in. 11.5 seconds at 126.2 miles per hour. Launching the Sport Classic demands a touch of finesse rather than brute force. Simply dropping the clutch won't yield optimal results. Peak torque kicks in at 2,000 revolutions per minute, extending all the way to 6,000 revolutions per minute. But peak horsepower doesn't make its appearance until 6,750 revolutions per minute. In neutral, the rev limiter engages at 3,500 revolutions per minute, which is insufficient to generate the power required for a swift takeoff. Aggressively dropping the clutch reduces engine revs by about 1,500 revolutions per minute, resulting in a lackluster performance to achieve the best launch. It's crucial to bring the engine right up to the 3,500 revolutions per minute limit. Keeping the accelerator pedal floored leaves little room to modulate engine speed so a slight release of the throttle is necessary until the engine speed starts to dip. Gradually, 
release the clutch, maintaining a steady engagement as it initiates. A degree of clutch slip is essential to prevent the engine from bogging down. As the engine recovers the speed loss during the initial clutch engage, meant complete the clutch release and smoothly apply the throttle. You'll know you've executed it perfectly when the tires let out a satisfying chirp. This intricate dance is what makes driving the 911 Sport Classic such a rewarding experience. The performance is undeniably there, but the car demands a specific driving technique. Surprisingly, despite being rear-wheel drive, it's nearly impossible to fully brake traction and spin the rear wheels. During our straight-line testing, we didn't manage to do it even once, yet. The sheer satisfaction of that slight tire chirp as you're pressed back into your seat makes all the effort worthwhile. Outstanding Porsche handling. The suspension of the 2023 Porsche 911 Sport Classic draws inspiration from the 911 turbos. Available components. It incorporates Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control and Porsche Active Suspension Management, with a noteworthy adjustment in the front springs to account for the absence of AWD hardware. Up front, the Sport Classic features Sir Emmett composite brakes that allow it to come to a halt from 60 miles per hour in an impressively short distance of just 96 feet. Furthermore, the torque vectoring, limited slip rear axle, coupled with rear steering, enhances the 911's ability to maintain an average acceleration of 1.11 grams around our skid pad. The Sport Classic proved itself as one of the most thrilling 911 models we've encountered in recent memory. It completed our figure eight course in a speedy 22.7 seconds with an average of 0.92 grams in Sport Plus mode with all aids deactivated. The car responds to every driver input, amplifying both the good and the not so good. Equipped with 250 5/35 20-inch front and 315 30 21-inch rear Pirelli P0 NA1 tires, the Sport Classic offers ample grip. Although it does have a propensity for lift throttle over steer and corner entry over steer, which should not be underestimated, while it is possible to induce rear end instability, the Sport Classic maintains a well executed line so efficiently that it demands intentional overdriving to make it go sideways. The torque vectoring rear axle excels when exiting corners, ensuring power delivery remains firmly planted for a vigorous acceleration to the next turn. The steering and brakes meet the high standards expected from Porsche, and the 7-speed manual transmission borrowed from the Carrera feels noticeably more precise. Since our first encounter, the auto blip rev matching feature operates seamlessly, automatically engaging in the two sport modes. However, it must be manually activated in normal mode through the center screen settings menu and resets, with each car shut down a minor inconvenience. A workaround is available by configuring a custom setting using the individual mode. But a set it and forget it option would be a welcome addition. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.